so the last step is to paint our gargoyles. Now, if you want to paint it like stone, then you are certainly welcome to do that. You would get some black, you would mix it in the white to make gray, and you would paint it stone gray like that. If you want to paint it color, then I am going to let you do that. Now, if you want to paint it darker colors, because these are really bright and vibrant colors, which might not really communicate, you know, dark and scary, then what you're going to do is you're going to dull the colors. Now, you might think the best way to make a color darker is to use black. That doesn't work, especially if you use, if you want to use yellow. What you end up with is a yucky green. Instead, I've arranged your palette so that the opposite color, so here are the primaries and here are the secondaries, will dull the other color. These are called the complementary colors. So, purple, a little bit of purple in the yellow will make a darker mustard yellow. See how that makes a much darker yellow there? And then you can paint it in. Now I have my temper cakes very watery right now because that's how I want, uh, that way that it will get in all of the cracks. But I do have to paint carefully so that it's not sloppy. I want to use duller colors for this because that's going to look darker and more ferocious rather than bright, happy colors. One of the cool things about painting on clay is that it dries instantly. So that is already dry there and I didn't even fast forward or anything. So again, I don't want a bright red. I want kind of a darker red a smoldering red. Get some green. I'm going to mix it in with my red. See how that also made the green darker too? I've got a very dark green there. Mixing in with my red that gets much darker. And by having watery air colors it really gets down in there. So we are making shades of colors. When we lighten a color, we make a tint. But we are making shades of colors. So see right there how it's not, it hasn't uh, gotten painted, it keeps painting over. So if I just make a little bit of watery there, it will just pour into the cracks. I do of course have to be careful that it doesn't pour into the whole thing. And it dries fairly quickly. For little tiny, tiny areas, like if I wanted to get inside, there, I've got my tiny little brush. Okay, and then I'm going to just go ahead and paint the whole thing uh, using my temper cakes, dulling the colors as I go. So orange goes with blue. Orange will make blue darker, and blue will make orange darker. And that's how you make your colors darker: is you use the opposite on the color wheel. It's almost a brown. If you get it 50-50, if you get it exactly in the middle, it will turn brown. So I need a little bit more blue. See how that actually turned it blue, or turned it brown? So I need more orange to make it look more orange. There we go. Thank you. 